Good morning, this is Fighting Fear with Kevin Ashworth. Um, I'm a cognitive behavioral therapist that specializes in anxiety treatment, specifically OCD and the other spectrum of anxiety disorders in Portland, Oregon. I'm the co-director of Northwest Anxiety Institute. And I create these small video blogs to talk about anxiety, the treatment of anxiety, parenting anxious kids, and uh, anything else that's really relevant. Today I want to talk about what OCD is. You can't talk about what OCD is, obsessive compulsive disorder, without talking about what it's not. A lot of people talk about having OCD in a very kind of uh, nonchalant, uh, casual way, and that's just not what it is. Uh, OCD really has very little to do with keeping things organized and straight and tidy. That's just personal preference. So if you like your shoes lined up or all your hangers in your closet to be a certain color and face a certain way, and that is actually comforting to you, that's not OCD. If you like to clean things regularly or keep your kitchen counters clean, that's not OCD. That's personal preference. Uh, the diff and and by calling it OCD, you actually minimize the struggle that people with OCD have, and so it's really important that we know the difference. OCD, for the longest time, was conceptualized as an anxiety disorder. It's got its own category now of, of obsessive disorders, but you've got the obsession, which is any unwanted or intrusive thought, uh, and that, that can be absolutely anything. OCD is such an obscure and bizarre diagnosis because it can manifest its way it can manifest itself in any way. So any unwanted or intrusive thought is the obsession. And then the compulsion is just a behavior that people engage in to manage the anxiety that is caused by the intrusive thought. And so the quintessential example, of course, is if I have an intrusive thought that there's germs on my hands, my anxiety goes up, the best way I manage that is to wash my hands. OCD is nicknamed the doubting disease because people never quite can, can get that reassurance that they need. They're always going back and saying, yeah, but what if? What if I didn't wash my hands properly? What if they touched the sink on the way out? Um, to the point that people even forget that they did those things or they at least question that they did those things. OCD has many different categories. They have um, contamination fears, so not just contamination of germs, but contamination of natural environment, environmental uh, carcinogens or, or issues that may become harmful, whether that's asbestos or radon, uh, glue, anything like that. And then, you know, cigarette smoke. Or people have intrusive thoughts related to harming obsessions as well, and that could be fear that they may harm themselves, that they may harm other people, that they may harm people in, in lots of different ways, whether that's um, by hurting them physically, by hurting them emotionally, by hurting them sexually. People have fears of natural disasters, of course, or harm coming to f uh, friends and family members. Um, and then there's just other, there's, there's um, sensory motor types of OCD, there's body focused types of OCD. And so OCD really is a diagnosis where when people respond to the anxiety that is caused by these intrusive thoughts, they get stuck in this pattern because they do feel a little bit better initially when they start doing their compulsions or their avoidance behaviors or their reassurance seeking. Um, so the gold standard treatment for that is exposure therapy. Uh, we've talked about that a little bit in some of my other videos. If you haven't checked those out, um, and really what we help, what we need to do is help people kind of gradually. Uh, expose themselves to those fears and so it's really impossible to know that what you're thinking is not true um, unless you put yourself in a situation that you can actually demonstrate that and so that's the behavioral piece. So when we talk about uh, fighting fear, finding freedom, do one thing every day that scares you. If you suffer with OCD, my recommendation today is really trying to do one incremental thing without a safety behavior or a compulsion that might be somewhat challenging for you and that can be as minimal as possible. It really is about taking one step forward, one step after the next and thinking with your feet. If you don't have OCD and you want to do something that's challenging today, try not to talk about OCD uh, with your quirks and your personal preferences and then also maybe be, um, a, be understanding and empathic to people that may struggle with OCD. Um, these videos are going to be on a couple of times a week. We're going to be talking about anxiety. Please uh, follow the channel. I just changed the name of the channel. Um, so if you followed me previously, please follow this one. Click on our website. Check out our stuff. Uh, feel free to write a comment or email me and I'll answer questions when I can. Thanks so much. Uh, do something today that scares you. Have a good day.